Oh, he's still, he's right there. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to J-Hook Adventures. Today, we are at the uh, little creek that you have seen me at a uh, few times now. But instead of going that way, which is the way we normally go, we are going to head that way, downstream a little bit this time, to see if there's any deeper holes down that way that I haven't punched in the summer. We're in early fall now, it's October 8th, I think, today. Doesn't really matter, it's early October. It's about 70 degrees today, really nice. We are going to see what lurks in the creek that way. So let's get right on into it. All right. So the whole point of today's video is to hopefully catch something that I have not caught ever, or at least maybe just this year. So if uh, all I end up catching is some bluegill and stuff like that, you're probably not going to even see this video. But I've been getting a lot of nibbles out there by who knows what. As you can see, my bobber's dancing around quite a bit. There's all kinds of little minnow out there. I might have to switch to my micro fishing rig because I did bring that. And I'm thinking that whatever is biting it is uh, too small to get the size 16 hook in its mouth. So we'll switch to the size 22 and the smaller rod and uh, see if we can't get it then. Wow, whatever it is is really after it. Ha ha! Success! Just got to go for that savage hook set, I guess. Alrighty, let's have a look. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is a sand shiner, which you guys would have seen in one of my first micro fishing videos that I did. I'm not 100% sure. I will look into it, but I'm willing to bet that that's what it is. Very cool, very shiny fish. All right, so what I learned from that fish was to, when they get a good bite on it, set the hook like, I mean, savage set the hook. No little teeny, tiny little jerks on it are gonna do you any good. You gotta really set it like you're hooking into a 10 pound bass, you know? Savage hook set. Oh yes. Wow, that's a lot bigger, whatever it is. Let's get it over here before it flops back in the water. I'm pretty sure that that is a creek chub. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's creek chub. Again, I'll look into it. I'm not 100% certain, but I'll always have it on the bottom of the screen there for you, what it is. Got another one. My hands are already wet. Another probably sand shiner, maybe juvenile creek chub. They don't really look like juvenile creek chubs, but whatever it is, it is whatever we've been catching. The first one that we caught. Alrighty. I have made a move downstream to some slightly deeper water and see if there's anything. Whoa see if there's anything down here remember the name of the game today is to catch a fish that I have never caught before I'm specifically after um, a certain species that I've actually already seen I'm gonna keep it as a mystery though I've already seen it today but it was not showing any interest in biting so hopefully we'll be able to uh, change its mind as we see some more later in the day Well, a fish has come up in the deeper spot, and it is an emerald shiner, which again, we caught earlier this year, so not a new species, but uh, a new species for this video, so let's go ahead and get him back in the water. 
move spots. Big sand shiner. Personal best sand shiner. <laughs> Unless it's a creek chub. I don't know. I'll do the research. But uh, there you go. We'll get him back in the water. What? What is that? Is that? It's a bluegill. Dude swallowed the hook too. So this will be interesting surgery. A little teeny tiny bluegill. All right, well, that's another species for the day. Again, not exactly what I'm after. I think it's, uh, I think it's definitely time to move on downstream a little bit farther, though. Okay, I have reached a spot where I decided, you know what, I'm not going any farther down. I'm not finding any more spots, you know? And I found this spot right here. We are basically right underneath the bridge. And uh, not only did I see my target species in here, I also saw something that looked a little bit bigger, maybe like a bass of some kind. So with that, we're going to go ahead and throw it in there and see what comes up. I had a fish the whole time. I didn't even realize it. He hooked himself. It's another emerald shiner. I am 99% positive of it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get him off and get him back in the lake or the creek. And uh, hopefully the thing I'm after is actually going to pop up guys probably can't see it but I see quite a few of the species that I'm after today the mystery fish so let's let's really hope one bites well this spot has turned out to be a bigger disappointment than I am to my family so with that being said we're gonna just go ahead and go a little bit farther downstream I think that gets a little deeper down there basically I think at this point I'm gonna go ahead and give up on catching a new species of fish and uh, especially giving up on the mystery fish because I don't understand what these fish are expecting but they won't eat anything you throw at them despite my google search last night that told me they eat worms as far as I can tell they seem to be terrified of worms they seem to be terrified of everything so we're just going to go down here and see if there's some bigger fish that we can catch some smallmouth perhaps Sorry for the terrible lighting conditions, I can barely see as well, but I found a deeper spot and there's something biting every time I throw it out there, so hopefully we'll be able to bring it up. My GoPro batteries are almost dead, I do have another one, but I don't have it with me. Oh, we got it. Whoa, what is that? Did I come all the way down here for more creek chub? That seems like what I did. Uh, alrighty, well, that's a nice creek chub at least. Uh, I think it's a creek chub. To be honest with you, I don't actually think it is. I think it's a big shiner of some kind. Uh, I'll let you know. Another one. These are definitely creek chub. And they are ferocious. That is a nice one, too. That's the new PB creek chub. Woo! So exciting. Get you a nice look on them. Like 90% certain they're creek chub, but I'll do some research on them. There he goes. another one like I said this will probably be the last one to show you my batteries on 4% so we're just gonna go ahead and start heading back upstream we got fresh batteries in the GoPro well we're gonna go ahead and start making our way back upstream and uh, first spot we're gonna hit is right underneath that bridge to the right because I haven't tried that spot yet do you know what is extremely frustrating Coming up to a spot, seeing your target fish in the water, and then not paying any mind to your bait whatsoever. And then you end up catching a bunch of sand shiners and bluegill. That's what I've been dealing with. Well, I am back to where I started, but I'm not giving up just yet. I have pretty much given up on the mystery species of fish. 
I will let you guys try to guess in the comments below what that species of fish is. I'm giving up on it for today, but not forever, obviously. But I'm not giving up on a new species of fish. I've been seeing all these little darters darting in and out of the rocks in here. And uh, I think they're Johnny darters, which I have never caught on hook and line before. So we're going to see if we can get that done. You guys aren't going to believe it because I don't believe it myself. Look at that. I got him. The little Johnny darter. Size 22 hook or a little micro piece of red worm. Red wiggler. Look at that. He is about an inch long. No, no joke. But uh, that is a new species. I'm going to do some research and confirm that he is in fact a Johnny darter. 90% certain that he is, but awesome. We'll get a release pick in a minute. He's gone already. He was so ready to go. That is so cool. About an inch long little Johnny darter. And uh, I had stopped filming because it was taking a lot longer than I thought. But hopefully I can get one on, on film for you guys. But that was really cool. He's underneath that leaf. I don't want him to drag it underneath the leaf though because last time one did that I caught the leaf instead of the fish. Oh, I picked him up. Y'all saw that, right? I had him. Oh, we're going to have to find another one now. Basically, what I'm doing to find him is I'm just walking. And I'm looking for them. And I look to see what rock they swim underneath of. Then I take a few steps back. And I put the worm right into that hole where they went, just went. I have located one that seems willing to eat. Got, oh, well, <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw the splash, but I had him. I had him. I don't think it counts because I didn't touch him, but maybe there's two down there. Oh, there was. Got him. Oh, no. No. Bro, <laughs> come on. Dang. Getting one of these things to stay on the hook is the real challenge here. I don't know what that one was. He looked a little darker. He looked like he might have been different. Oh, he's still... He's right there. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> All right, before he can jump off of there, let's go to shallower water. It's another Johnny Darter. That's two for the video. Very cool. I only have about 10 minutes before I have to pack it up, but nice. All right, let's let our little darter go. Went right back underneath this rock right here. got here another Johnny darter yep alrighty very cool uh, if you guys have never tried micro fishing before I would give it a shot I know that uh, catching monster fish is way more fun but this is a challenge this is not as easy as it looks I try I promise you that I would give it a shot if you want to challenge yourself sometime but uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun rock right here there's something bigger underneath it got him are you serious it was a bluegill alright well I think that's a surefire way to tell that it is time to go home and call it a day alright guys that is gonna wrap it up for me today wasn't exactly the trip I was hoping for, but we did land a new species, which ultimately was the goal. It wasn't the mystery fish. The mystery fish is uh, significantly bigger than that, but um, not too horrible of a day. Wish there would have been a little bit more variety. But guys, I hope you liked it. Um, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Remember guys, life is fun. Go have an adventure, and I will see you on the next one.